Greetings, gentle viewers. Welcome back to Damon not having arms. Oh, <laughs> without joking at all, the stupid painkillers really chew up my stomach. I hate it. But uh, so it goes. We're the bittersweet gamers. I have no arms. And I'm Wee Square. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Enough, Nathan. We've been nice enough to him. At least because, we, because we like him. At least we avoided telling him to kill himself. Thank so, God. Though now, now we're finally running into his own problems. Mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. he, you know, he doesn't want to let go, and he seems to have a ghost in, uh, occupying the rocking chair. <laughs> Maybe it's the ghost of Claire's husband. Claire's husband. <laughs> that seems like a great reason to talk to Claire today. Well, let's get on with it. Hey, what's up? How are you today? Oh, nice dress. I agree. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they die. Oh! Um, <laughs> how many other people in your life have died at the lake house? Where they died? Perhaps we should change the subject. You seem to be struggling. How did you kill your parents? Did you... <laughs> Do you think I killed my parents? That's what I asked. Did you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, God dang it. Why did you clap? Oh. You cool. I like how her, her responses are so curt and short. I know. It makes it really kind of nice to move through these. <laughs> Anniversary? It was 12 years ago. I was still very young. They took many stabs to kill. But anyway, I had to toughen up quickly. Toughen up? Right? Ow. I was a young woman in possession of an enormous fortune. Oh God, it hurt. Lots of people, lots of men. Saw that as an opportunity. That makes sense. Sorry, I'm soaking my hand in this bucket of cold water. <laughs> what, what else you got? Opportunity? Some tried to seduce me. Some thought I wanted a new daddy. Uh. Most of them were the same age as my parents. And yet I'm the one here talking to you. Me, 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 me. You calling me old, sweetie? Probably did, shouldn't call how, her that when I say that. What? How did they die? Sorry. I don't know. I don't think you killed your parents. <laughs> I guess I need to move closer to the microphone. I can't believe there's a follow-up to that. Or how about, yeah, what about yes or no, I don't... No, I already said that. No, no, we didn't say no, I don't think. You know, game logic. It's okay if you think I killed them. Then why'd you get so defensive? I that conclusion. People can be so cynical. I'm used to it. Doesn't that aren't you just saying that you're very cynical? Yes. Well, you said earlier in the original batch that yeah. these people like to project themselves onto us. Yes. Yes. Like uh, oh, you know, thinking about Bryce was about control, and he was mad that Doctor Decker was trying to control him. Right. And we couldn't quite we couldn't quite pin Claire down because she was so guarded. But yeah, and she still is. So thinking about it, thinking about Nathan like that. Well, he's not, he's not trying to say that we don't let things go or something like that. But... That's correct. He's also, like, the least hostile, though, too. Well, he was beginning to become hostile. A little bit. But that still makes him less hostile yeah. than everyone else. I mean, even Gaia is obscenely hostile. Like, she doesn't actually appear to be, you know... Human? <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> What she was saying, of course, is that she is not those things, which includes living. Yeah. She is, she yeah. is something of a zombie, a murderous brain-eating zombie. Ask her if she killed her husband again. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Perhaps you should be taking more notes. Perhaps you should be taking more notes. I've got notes right here, and I'm not going to go through them right now, so... <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's let's move on, Just shall follow we? Follow up on hello. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. She didn't tell us how they died. Well anyway, let's ask about the lake house. That 
Seems to be where we need to go. I don't want to go to the lake house. Looking across the water. It's peaceful there. And your husband? The place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there. By the lake. Uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing. If you can call it that. With one of those nets on a stick. Yeah, that's fishing. Sort of. Tell me about this girl. I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. I don't usually talk to children. But she seemed different. Special. I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I, Doctor? Uh... Yes, you're allowed to talk to her. I mean, unless you were planning on killing her. Good. It felt nice. I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. So I can find her and talk to her again, Doctor. I don't like the way she phrased that. Are you human? Are you bored? Do you want me to talk about something else? No, I want you to talk about what I want to talk about. That's why you pay me, right? Yes, you can find her again. Then I will. I'll look for her next time she I'm there. She seems so happy. This is the only time she's ever actually been happy. I know, I'm really unsettled. <laughs> okay, so just to make sure we had this right, at first she was sound, it made it sound like it, when we first talked to her long ago, it made it, she made it sound like her husband was still alive at the lake house like a zombie, but then she actually said that her husband was dead. And and there, that was yeah. that one that only played that oh, one yeah, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah, you're correct, you're correct. I do remember that. And then I when put a note up and everything. And when you replayed it, it didn't work that way. There were a few like that where they said something different or they yeah. said it differently than how it was yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, let's follow the little girl. No, Don't no, take no. that out of context. What? What? Oh, hey, you stalker. here. <laughs> let's go back to the lake house comment. Okay. I stood for a while looking across the water. Uh, we can ask about fishing, the water, peaceful. It's the place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there. Let's ask about fishing. Yeah. Uh, she lives on the other side of the lake. She must be new. I haven't seen her there before. Or any other house there either. Well, fortunately, that was all we had. That was it. Oh, I, I guess you're right. Now we just need to follow up on the little girl. So... I don't know why I talked to her. She looked sad. What, what did she, she look yeah, go sad? Ahead, go ahead. I've got one, David too. David had been hunting again. And David, well, that was his name. She... She's seen some of the skin. Hey, around the lake she's now. still saying that he's alive. I, but she's dead. I mean, he's dead though, isn't he? Yes, he is. I don't usually talk to children, but she seemed different, special. She was special? I don't know. I suppose she just reminded me of me. Almost like a younger me. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. She said she was... Trying to catch some strange hmm. creature that you've seen in the water. Oh, that's not good. Tell me about this creature. That's not good at all. I don't know. Minnows, probably. Everything's strange when you're a child. So the only thing that, that has made Claire happy is this girl. Yeah. Well, I suppose she is sort of obsessed with herself. Some projection of her inner child, mayhaps? Mayhaps. I mean... She's already seeing other things that are dead, if you think about it. David had been hunting again, and, well, she's seen some of the skins he hung around. Some of the, the some of the skins. That did the last year. Uh, Animal skins. Big one. Um, David hunts at the yeah. skins. It's horrible, really. Um, he's not really good at either job, so the skins still have great lumps of blood. Oh, good God! I hope that's not I'm David. Sure get better with practice. Is David alive? I'm pretty sure we've already asked this, but... David wasn't there. Oh. Or at least I didn't see him. I didn't go inside. Um, I that look on her tea, face. And the spare was missing. We've already been through this, Claire. David is not a Livy. <laughs> hey, it was enough, okay? It caught the David part, and that's what was important. So you shoot up. <laughs> I will shoot up with Mo Pain drugs. Hey. <laughs> I suppose I asked for that. That's what they're for, right? Hey. David wasn't there. Great bloody lumps of meat. That's what I want to ask about. Great bloody lumps of beet. 
There's very little I'm not willing to talk about, Doctor. I don't agree with you! But I'm afraid I don't know anything about that. You are a liar! David wasn't there. Or at least I didn't see him. Oh no, that, that was in the last so, statement. Um, I forgot my key, and the spare was missing. The ah, spare right. was missing? Yeah, there's no more follow-up to the Great Hunts of Bloody Sorry, Meat. I don't know anything about that. Okay. Your key. I'm sure I had a spare key for the lake house, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't really need one if David is around. It uh -huh. just seems so obvious, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, there's so many really clear points about things that, that are, and I'm, I'm sorry for my voice going in and out, but... Uh, I'm, He's I, tending to his medical problem. Cut him some slack. <laughs> ah, I know, I'll put this bucket of cold water in my lap and... Oh, God dang it! Billy, can you take this out of my lap? Y yes. Oh, God, help me. It's so painful. <laughs> Why am I so stupid? Hey. I'll just pick up this freaking bucket full of water. <laughs> We're still stuck on hello. Excellent. Let's go back to hello. We still got Valentine's Day too. But we'll get oh, that's to that. true. That's true. I went to the lake house. We asked about parents. The lake house anyway. Where they died? But it's I think... also where they died. No, it's asked... that. Okay, okay, okay. Where they died. I don't have an answer for you on that one. Your parents? I I don't know. Ah. Parents died? Perhaps we should change the subject. You seem to be struggling. No, you seem to be struggling. I feel like I've already said that. I would say something like, come here, let me practice my skinning, but that could easily be taken out of context. I don't think you want to say that in context. I think you're right. That's sort of why I'm saying I'm not saying it, except that I said it. Ooh. Observe the top tier mind games we're playing. <laughs> one of us is one of us is zonked out on pain medication, and the other one's me. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it's the anniversary of my parents' death today. 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 I don't have an answer for you on that one. That wasn't really much of a question. Don't worry. What about it's? It's. I don't know anything about that. Perhaps you should be taking more notes. Don't you judge me. I always go to the lake house anyway. Always anyway, go to the lake house. Anyway, yeah, we were just thinking the same always thing. Always go to the lake house. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. There's very little. Darn it! Point. I hate you. <laughs> I thought that was something that would be kind of important. The way Maybe I misspelled it. anniversary. No, you didn't. I can see it right there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and that's actually a freaking result. Never mind. It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. So thinking about it... So she went there today. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what that's she said. That's pretty interesting. Ask said. about today. We probably already have, though. You went there today? Today? Do you want me to talk about something else? Are you yeah. making fun of me because I misspelled it? Just try today. Yeah, very good. You got the D. I don't know. All right, we haven't asked her about the word V. Sorry, I don't know anything about <laughs> I hate you. I see what you're trying to do. Do you? I don't I see what I'm trying to do. You killed everyone. You killed everyone. I don't know anything about that. Perhaps you should be taking more notes. All right, I got that out of my system. Are you single? No, we already asked those questions. I'm so sorry. It's going to be something, it's going to be something really yeah, stupid. I, that, that should be so obvious to us, and we're going to laugh. I always go to the lake house anyway, but it's also where they died. It, uh, where they died? Why, why? How is that not? Are you bored? Do you want me to talk I about something else? We already asked that. I even. know, but why can't it go anywhere else? Why can't we ask her about it, even if she just blows us off? We it also seems, asked how they died, it right? Seems like, yeah. It just seems like we should be able to ask about more about her parents. Let me just double check here. We have, how did they die? Did, hold on. How did your parents die? 
they don't okay monoxide poison. we just weren't specific enough i was staying at a friend's house otherwise i would have died too. Uh, um hold on okay okay so was it suicide they died in their car of carbon monoxide poisoning and hold on, and, and she also said, I would have, uh, <clears throat> she also said, I would have died too, but I was at a friend's house. Was it the house? Did the house get flooded with carbon monoxide? I, but, like, again, but at a lake house. Again, were they, yeah. Like, that sounds really suspicious and strange. I don't, you, doesn't, you don't accidentally get carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. I'm not sure. It was a faulty boiler, I think. Well. Do they do that? Faulty boiler? Oh, well, there's no follow-up to that. Ah, there's a follow-up to that. And let me see if we've nipped hello in the butt. Almost, almost. Well, we've got the important one, but we still haven't finished. They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I mean, now we need to ask about there. friend's house. Okay, okay. You would have died, too? There's very little to talk about. I was staying at a friend's house. Otherwise, I would have died too. Where were you staying? Yeah. Perhaps we should change the subject. You seem to be struggling. We're only struggling because you're being so obtuse! How would you have died? I, I don't know. Why would you have died? Sometimes if you would have died. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know anything about that. I don't remember my friend. There we go. She was a girl from my school. Ha! Huh. Vicky. Charlotte. It's not really important. No, I kind of think that might be important. Especially if you've got... A split personality or an imaginary friend that you might be seeing again now. She is seeing something and doesn't want to talk about it at all. Yeah, but, that but she feels nice when she sees the other girl at the lake I house. I mean, I didn't, I, yeah, that, mm. that was not something that escaped me as well. Okay, well, that, narrow, that nipped that in the bud. Well, oh, oh yeah, it did. You still haven't got it's to Valentine's Day, of her course. Her That's correct. So, tell us where you were on Valentine's Day. The day Dr. Becker was killed, uh, I had a session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. Uh-huh. That was the last time I saw him. Of course, everybody is going to presumably have something of an alibi. If we could, hold on, if we could come up with this archaeologist, then, then, we, yeah. could, then we could verify Nathan's. But if we can't, if we can't look at the... But what she said, what, what Claire said, doesn't really have any weight as an alibi whatsoever, right? That's correct. Because, That's correct. Because that doesn't mean she couldn't have shown up later that night. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that, I mean, we don't know what they talked about. We don't even know if there were other patients that day. Yes, Could've we just... do know. We've already been told there were other patients that day, the usual suspects. Oh, well, I meant, I meant like after her, but no, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, that's 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 true. I mean, you're right. She couldn't have done it then right, because there right. were other patients. Maybe she was the last one, sure. But we, we, I mean, we don't know that. But mainly the thing is, is whether she saw, whether, whether he saw her or not, she, she could have come back. That's true. It could that's have happened true. in the evening. Remember, we've already, we already know that, uh, well, Jaya already said you, you've been here since last night. It could have been the same with Decker. True, true. That's true. It could have just been laying around. What else we got? The day Dr. Becker was killed. Could uh, ask about the session. session. Had a session with him. Dr. Decker made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. Y yes. I'll be taking it to the grave with me, though. As did he. That's not suspicious at all. Let's go follow up on that, shall we? I believe we shall. Wow. Uh, or not. Or we won't follow up on that. Okay. Uh, well, I don't want to keep pushing her about hello. Um, yes, I do. One more time. Okay. I went to the lake house. How was the lake house? Was it particularly corpsey? I guess we've already talked about that. Did you kill the lake house? <laughs> Did you kill the lake house? Have you killed me? 
Whoa! I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> but I really don't know anything about that. Now you've got her all riled up, Damon. Thanks. You know, one second. There we go. Now it's at the top and I don't have to keep scrolling down. Had a session with him? Let's move on there. No, no, see it? Oh. Oh, you're right. I guess it... These ah. are the things that we needed to follow up with. Some of the stuff in the background makes it hard to see those asterisks. Oh, is, 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 is. Offer that I couldn't refuse. Are we taking it Asking about... Ask there? about the offer and the grave. It, oh, 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 oh. Dr. Decker was more animated that day. Excited, even. He talked a lot. And then I stabbed him! More animated? Instead of his usual sarcasm and rebuttals, he seemed genuinely excited. Presumably, he had a date. And that cleared up had a session with him. But there's a lot of stuff we can follow up on from that. Well, obviously not. One second. Take to your grave. I'm just checking. I don't have an answer for you. Okay. Uh, that, that did seem rather final, the way she said that. Not only that, but she said, I'm not telling you what that offer was. Yeah. And, um... You can't ask Decker. <laughs> right, except it was much more pithy the way that she said it. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I'm not more pithy, jeez. Well, we just kind of blazed through this one. Uh, but I guess that makes sense with Claire, with her non-answers and whatnot. She's generally pretty straightforward, and we're not quite as stubborn about finding every little bit of dialogue. Yeah, yeah. It works out. We It is strange for us at this point to not do a longer video. It seems like something is horribly wrong by us cutting it short but now. But something is horribly wrong. You have no arms. That's true. We can't do anything the same. It's really kind of depressing. Kind of final when you think about it.